Welcome fellow travelers, it's Mickey Gold. On Sunday, we have a full blue moon in Aquarius. And a blue moon means we've had a full moon once this month. And earlier in this month, that full moon was also in Aquarius. Now, they're not exactly the same because what happened on Thursday is Uranus, which is the planet that rules Aquarius, went into retrograde. So instead of that, power to the people, focusing on community, all that sort of stuff. It is asking you, going into retrograde, it's asking you to focus inward. And this retrograde keeps going until the 22nd of January this next year. So this gives us a lot of time to focus inward and take care of our stuff. Because remember, the full moons are about releasing. So this is perfect. You get to go inside, focus on you. So this is great because things kind of slow down a little bit. So you can focus on you instead of focusing on all everything that's going on outside of you and whether it be political whether it be medical whether it be whatever the case may be all these different things that are going on around us you focus on you instead of those things in the community because when we take care of ourselves we are more able to handle things going on around us for instance our energy if you think of it like this if you sent every single person on the planet a penny it wouldn't do most of the people who received the penny much good however if everybody in the world sent you a penny that would be a little bit more substantial and that would probably help you a little bit versus that one little speck that one little tiny that really doesn't do anything for you versus Wow. So when we bring that energy, when we bring our own energy in, when we keep our pennies or when people send us pennies, instead of us dispersing all our energy, we have a lot to go off of. And it's really a break we need, most of us, because it's really difficult to live in the world and not be affected by the world. It, it's a very, it's probably one of the most challenging things we can do is to really say, okay, I'm going to focus here because this is the best I can do is focus on myself, focus on changing the things I wanna change, releasing the things I wanna release instead of complaining about things out there that I have no ability to make a difference in until I have saved up my own pennies, then I can make a difference. Then I can make a big contribution. But again, if we're just spreading it really thin, we are not able to do that contribution. So with this in mind, I wanted to talk about a different way to look at our energy system. Now, I've talked about chakras before. I wanted to talk about these different energy centers. They're similar to chakras, but slightly different. And I'm going to also talk about a meditation that you can do with these energy centers. So what I want you to think of is big spheres about the size of a bowling ball. So the very first sphere that you have is over your head somewhere and it's white and it's about again the size of a bowling ball. The second sphere you have is pearl gray and it's right around where your throat area would be. The next sphere would be gold, and it's about the heart area. And then we have around our belly button, a purple sphere, and then at our feet, a black sphere. And what we're going to do with these spheres is we're going to breathe into them. So I want you to think of when you breathe into that white sphere, I want you to imagine that you're bringing in all the energy, you're collecting energy from the world around you, the universe around you. You're breathing that in and filling up that sphere with white, the most beautiful, sparkling, dazzling white you've ever seen. And as you inhale and hold it, like you might inhale for four and then hold it for four. And then as you exhale, you let go of the negative, but you keep that energy powering you up. So you're using the energy from the universe around you to power you up. And then I usually do that about three times. And then I move down to my throat, that pearl gray sphere. And again, inhaling it, bringing everything in from the universe and holding it and then exhaling. And again, three times, I like the number three, you can go more, you can go less, and then going down to the heart, that 
golden sphere and imagine breathing in all that energy and again exhaling then once you've done your three or how many you wanted to do then you move down to around that belly button that purple sphere breathing it in and then moving down to the feet to that black sphere and breathing it in now so hopefully I haven't lost you on this. We have the three, you know, we have the different spheres here with the different colors. There's less than what we have with chakras. But again, white, pearl gray at your throat, gold at your heart, purple at your belly button, black at your feet. So once I've gone and made these glow as brightly as I possibly can, then I imagine breathing up, starting at the black, then moving to the purple, then to the gold, then to the pearl gray, and then to the white. And then I imagine exhaling a golden light down the right, the left side of my body. So you're gonna exhale golden light down the left side of your body. Then you're gonna inhale golden light up the right side of your body. And again, I do this three times. And then once I've exhaled on that third time, then I imagine again going up through that black, purple, gold, gray, and white spheres. And this time, it's gonna pour down the front of my body, that golden light, just cleansing, rolling down the front of my body as I exhale. And then I'm gonna inhale golden light up the back of my body. And again, I do that about three times, and then suck it back up through the black, the purple, the gold, the gray, and the white. And now this time, you have an energy body outside of you, slightly um maybe about six feet so we'll just use six feet everybody's body is different everybody's energy body is different so this time you're going to exhale outside imagine you're inside an egg exhale down again that left side of your body that golden light inhale up the right side of that energy body that golden light or that eggshell if you will and then once again once you've done that three times inhale from the black the purple the gold, the gray, the white, and then spill it over the front of that shell, and then inhale up the back. And again, once you've done that, then you'll come back up the center again from black to purple to gold to gray to white. And then this time it's going to come down and coat the inside of that shell or that energy body. And again, you'll just spill it down three times. And then when you're done, you just hang out and breathe. So don't worry about getting this wrong or doing this wrong. And if you kind of don't remember what colors, that sort of thing, whatever calls to you. But there are people who have used a similar meditation. Sometimes it's called the cosmic egg. Sometimes it's called the cosmic sphere whatever you'd like to do, but having that gold energy and bringing in from outside the good, the wonderful energy to you and replenishing yourself, again, that makes it much easier when we're out of retrograde to go ahead and share. Once you've strengthened your energy body, once you've done this, this feels really amazing. I've been doing it, I said, for about a year and a half almost two years now and this is something I do daily and sometimes you can do this standing if you like the feeling of you know your feet on the ground um, if you have a place where you can put your feet in the grass or the sand or whatever the case may be that's really excellent and you can be doing this while you're anywhere too you don't have to be alone because you don't have to say anything you're just breathing and just imagining and just seeing it happen and if you're somebody who doesn't see stuff that easy just keep going it's okay so to review we got the white sphere we got the gray sphere the pearl gray so it's a pretty gray and we got the golden sphere at our heart we got around that belly button we got that purple sphere and down at the bottom at our feet we got that black sphere again we're going to inhale back up after we've lit those spheres up we're going to inhale up the center through all those spheres and we're going to exhale let it, the gold light spill down the outside of our the left side of our body inhale back up the right side of our body and then we're going to go ahead once we've done those three times 
We're gonna go back up center again through those spheres and then spear down the front of our body on that exhale and pull it up on the back of our body on the inhale. And then we're gonna go to the outside of our energy body or our shell, if you will. And we're going to go ahead and once we pull it up, exhale it down the outside of the shell, inhale it up the right side of the shell. And then again, going over the front and then inhaling up the back. And then last but not least, we pull up the center and then we let it come down and coat the inside of that shell or the energy body, if you will. So I hope this finds you doing well. Peace, love, namaste.